Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to talk about Pike. I've gotten him a few more times over the weekend and have a better picture of where this champion has landed following his release. First and foremost, let me say Pike is fun as hell to play. I haven't had this much fun on a support in a long time, and I think it's because of how... I think it's because of just how independent Pike tends to be. He tends to be the kind of champion that can roam around by himself, sneak around with his W, make plays happen across the map. It's really, really good, and especially if you snowball, you're essentially just an assassin, but also being a support, and you're incentivized to build actual assassin itemization. You don't feel bad about not buying a redemption, not buying a locket, that sort of thing, because you want to be doing damage. Your teammates want you to be doing damage, because that's how you're going to be able to get the resets and actually be relevant to the rest of the game. So... I think that's sort of a huge advantage that Pike has, and a big reason for why he's so much fun to play. Um, the other thing is, obviously, getting the alt resets is really, really cool. Um, sneaking around the W, I think, is my favorite part of this champion. It's a very unconventional way to sort of play a supportive champion, in that you can kind of sneak around with this, press W, fade away, and the enemy team doesn't really know where you are. Sure, you could be off warding, or you could be trying to set up a hook, or you could be going to the mid lane and making a play happen there. It gives a lot more tension when Pike disappears from a lane, because unlike Alistair, who kind of has to worry about, yo, someone might see me on a ward if I try to walk mid or if I try to walk into the enemy jungle. Pike just is gone, and you don't really know unless you've got a lot of control wards, but especially in the early game, there are fewer of those going around, and it ends up being a lot more difficult to spot where he is. And that's So that's been the most fun part for me about Pike. I think the hook he's got too is really, really strong. The pullback is huge, and the, the fact that it's a... Um, Tele or it, it's always a fixed distance pull is also really makes Pike strong because it guarantees that if you use it at point blank range, you're still going to be doing a bunch of damage. So it definitely is one of those things that makes him quite strong. You can throw people all the way back in your team. It's it's really, really good. And I think Pike is pretty decent. The E dash as well. It's one of those small things where, yeah, you can use this to set up a play, but it also just makes Pike feel more fluid. You can dash over walls to get back to safety or just dash away from enemies if you're in a bad situation. So that feels pretty good. Um... The thing about Pikes is, though, is that he does feel like he's on the weaker end for champions. Obviously, some of that is that we, you know, just got this champion. We're still really learning how to play him, but he doesn't feel very good once he gets out of lane. Pike in lane feels like a pretty standard kill threat support, like Leona, where you just want to be using your pressure, the fact that you have this hook and your stealth, to be sneaking around and forcing enemy champions to back off of the lane, lest they accidentally get too close, get hooked, or get stunned, and then take a whole bunch of damage, because pikes are pretty much going to run ex er, Electrocute. I don't see him running any other rune except possibly Predator, but that's a little too telegraphed and kind of ruins your stealth, so I would expect most of them to run Electrocute and makes them better in the all-in. And so that sort of thing is, you know, really helps Pike have presence in lane, even though he is a melee support along the same lines as Leona. Sure, she's melee, but if she's able to land a Zenith Blade, you're going to be in for a world of punishment. Now, where Leona is very tanky and has lots of, uh, lots of utility to help her, even if she doesn't snowball the early game, Pike doesn't really have that. Outside of lane, Pike feels kind of lost because unless he snowballed, he won't be able to kill anyone on his own. He just doesn't have the damage and he doesn't really have the way out because if he uses his dash and his stealth to get in, he doesn't have anything left for him to actually get out of a bad situation. So even if you walk on that sideline to kill the AD carry and you use every ability, but they're not high enough, they're not low enough for your ultimate to execute them, well, then you don't really do much else and you probably die in that scenario because he doesn't have sustained damage, which is what assassins should. But because he's a support, He's working on a support income, and that means that it takes him a lot longer to get his items than a traditional assassin. So, a Talon, who's had a solo lane to himself, even if he didn't snowball, is still going to be a threat to an AD carry who's all on their own in the side lane. Pike, meanwhile, will not if he didn't snowball, because he just doesn't have the damage, and he doesn't have the utility... Uh, to really, really make him a powerful champion if he doesn't snowball is the biggest issue I have with Pike. The other thing is that he can't really team fight. Pike feels very bad at actually trying to make things happen when there are lots of champions running around. He doesn't have utility, like I said. You can sort of pseudo peel for your AD carry, but your stun is takes a long time to go off. And unless you're going for the pull, the slow isn't that much of a, isn't that big of a deal. If you try to get the pull, though, you have to charge up a lot longer, and it's a channeled ability. So if you get hit by any errant CC, it'll be interrupted, and it doesn't really help Pike peel that well. Is the biggest problem I have 
with how he's supposed to be, how he's supposed to function in team fights. The biggest reason to pick him in a team fight is literally just because. If you get enemy champions low enough, he can start resetting with his ultimate and do lots of damage and get lots of executes that way. That's really the only reason I can see why you'd want to play him, why you'd want to try and team fight with him. But besides that, he feels really bad. But he can't roam either and look for pickoffs. So it feels like Pike needs to be played in some kind of pick comp where you're looking to basically catch enemy champions in transition. Pike won't be able to do anything by himself like a lot of other assassins. Instead, it feels more like Pike is going to have to be trying to set plays up with somebody else, roam around with the his jungler or his mid laner or somebody and try to make a play happen because he doesn't usually have the damage by himself and you can't count on the snowball to happen. So the other thing is Pike doesn't feel great in a solo lane. He's got super low wave clear. He has a very low ability to actually set up ganks on his own and he can't actually usually roam anywhere because if you're in a solo lane, well, there's only one champion there. And generally speaking, mid laners aren't really expected to roam. Top laners aren't really expected to roam. If you are mid, you just get shoved in all day because your wave clear is bad. Jungle Pike is just really, really weak in general. You're weak to getting invaded. You have low clear times. The only reason to play Pike in the jungle, it feels to me, is the same reason you would play Twitch in the jungle because you're trying to get a cheese level 2 gank and then hopefully snowball the game from there. But it doesn't feel like it's strong enough to the point of Twitch because Pike broadcasts his stealth to all enemy champions that are within range. Unlike Twitch, who can definitely sneak up on people completely unknown. Pike doesn't, unfortunately, have that option because he doesn't have... Because he tells everybody, hey, here I come. So you can't really make the level 2 gank work on Pike jungle. And it feels like just more of a cheese thing in the first place. So, unfortunately, it doesn't feel like Pike will be playable in a solo lane. So it's kind of a bad situation to be in if you are Pike because it feels like you have to play support. You have to try to snowball that early game or you're just not going to be relevant at all. This is the biggest reason I don't feel like he's going to see play in the LCS. Unless the pros find some way to break him, there are definitely going to be some way to make Pike absolutely, completely pants on head stupid. But I don't know what they are. I haven't seen anything that Pike does so far that makes me think he's going to be absolutely broken. And if he's not, I don't see any reason to play this champion over someone like Leona or Alistair or Braum or any of the other tank supports that can help set up kills in lane. The, the reason I feel like the biggest reason you're going to be picking Pike is because the enemy team are playing Enchanter supports. That's where he's going to be strongest. Conversely, he's weakest against tank supports because they can lock him down long enough for his AD carry to kill him. Um, because Pike is not very durable at all. He can't build health, which is a big reason for him to not have that much not have that much survivability in fights. It does feel like Pike dies so much faster than other supports because he literally can't get any increases to his health, even if he's trying to build health. So... Obviously, you get AD for it, so you do lots of damage, but you don't have the ability to to really help people survive in to really survive for very long in fights. So you definitely want to be playing uh, tank supports into Pike. He will not live long enough to survive that. Meanwhile, you want to be playing Pike into Enchanter supports. It feels like because you're going to be very strong against them. I have had a couple of games against Sorakas and Janas, and there's just nothing they can do. If Pike can sneak up onto them in stealth, dash onto them, get the stun, get the get the slow, you just die because that man is an assassin, and assassins are pretty much designed to just straight up kill Enchanters. So, anyways, those are just my thoughts on Pike. Let me know what you guys are thinking of him down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, what you're building on him, how you're playing him, what you guys think his power level is. Obviously, I haven't played him as much as some, so if you guys have played, have managed to get a lot of games on Pike, let me know what you guys are thinking of him. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And if you're looking for more Grab the Lantern content, you can check out my blog, link down in the description. I upload an article just about each and every single day for your enjoyment. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later.